Yo, what's going on guys? It's Team McCrawley coming with another video. Today, we could say it is a VGC 2016 Wi-Fi battle here on the battle spot, but it's a little bit different. As you can see here on the screen, it says 2016 International Challenge June Masters Division. So pretty much what it is, it's a way to earn like tournament points to get into nationals and worlds and stuff like that. So it's really, it is VGC 2016. I mean, it's the same format, same rules, same everything. It's just you, this limited time competition. It was last weekend from Friday to Sunday. So I only did like four battles in it. You know, I could have done more. I think they let you up to do up to 10 per day, but I'll be uploading these. I mean, it's the same thing, but I had some pretty interesting battles. I'm going to upload all of them. I think I had four in total. So my opponent here, he had a big 16. For some reason, what surprises me here is he has Ferrothorn instead, or he brought Ferrothorn instead of Groudon, and he has Landorus in incarnate form instead of Therian. So interesting. This time I decided to bring the Aegis Flash. I'm like, okay, well, he's got a lot of options, a lot of spread move options. He has the Earthquake with the Landers. He has the Dazzling Gleam. He had the Groudon. And I'm like, well, I, I have Aegis Flash to specifically take care of Xerneas. So that's why I always bring it. And we're going to go ahead and get this battle started now. So I was when I saw that Landers uh, incarnate, I was a little intrigued. I was like, well, why not just run in uh, Therian form? But it's fine. So he leads with Kangaskhan and Landorus, which I was not expecting. And I have Groudon and Aegislash here. I was, ex and I was expecting the Groudon to start out. But it's all good here. The only problem is, is with Landorus, I've seen special attackers and physical attackers. Because if he's, if he's a physical attacker, he could have Protect on the Kangaskhan. And even if he doesn't have Protect on the Kangaskhan, he can still go for an Earthquake and deal tons of damage. So... It's a little complicated here. I, I have to figure out what kind of landers this is. So turn one, I go for the double protect to scout out what kind of moves he's going to do. I'm Here I'm predicting a fake out from the Kangaskhan, which can only go into the Groudon slot. But it could be an Earth Power onto Groudon and or Aegis Flash. So we see he goes for fake out Focus Blast. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. It must be a physical, or I mean a special set then. And we see that the Kangaskhan carries the Earthquake. And I was like, what? So, and he goes for the rock side. I'm like, come on, man, why didn't you do this turn one? So I could have gone for the wide card. But in the end, it's all good. He, so we, when, I didn't know if he was focus sash. I, I assumed he was. So I go for the rock side here to break the focus sash. And also the shadow ball here from my Aegislash to take out the lander since they're not very strong defensively. So right there, we get rid of landers, which is good. Because it's got that stab ground, which is super effective against both my Pokemon. So, luckily we got the double connect with the rock side right there. I'm going to see, now he brings out the Xerneas. So here I'm like, okay, well his last Pokemon, well I mean, that's what I assumed the beating. His last his Pokemon in the back were Groudon and Xerneas. So, here I'm going to go for the King Shield and the Aegislash to get it back in the, the defensive form. Because right here, I'm like, he's probably going to go for the Geomancy, but he could also go for the Dazzling Gleam. And a double edge. But we see he goes for the sucker punch on the age which is good. If because and it's not gonna affect me. And we're gonna see the Geomancy here, which I'm hundred percent okay with because we've seen in past battles that fairy type moves against these two Pokemon aren't effective at all really. I think it does like thirty three percent to Groudon on 25, 20, 25 percent to Age Slash. And most of them carry Dazzling Gleam. So I have my Age Slash out to go for the wide guard and soak up all the damage. So I go for the Precious Plates here, and I'm going to get some decent damage off. We do over half to each Pokemon, so one more Precious Plates will take him out. And so here I'm like, well, he's probably going to go for another Sucker Punch on the Aegis Slash. So I just go for the safe Wide Guard, in case he go, maybe he go, he'll go for another Earthquake, I don't know. But he does go for the Sucker Punch, which will fail since I didn't attack, and the Dazzling Queen, which is going to be eaten up by the Wide Guard. So perfect on for me. And we do get the Precious Plates. Xerneas doesn't get taken out by it. it misses it dodges but i'm okay with that because it it can't really do much to my team or i should say it can't do much to these two specific pokemon it's not going to knock it out anytime soon even with a crit so here when he said when i see sent out ferrothorn i was like what that's pretty crazy because usually i don't see ferrothorn against this team since i have primal groudon which can take out easily with a fire type move so here i'm like I, if I can get rid of, I'm like, okay, well, I got a win condition now. If I can take out the Xerneas, I win. It's as simple as that. 
the Spirit of Thorn can't do anything, especially to these two Pokemon right here. So I go for this, the Gyro Ball into the Xerneas, which is definitely going to take it out. So now we got the Xerneas taken out. We just got one Pokemon left. So the other thing I would be scared if you would be like a critical hit Power Whip on the Groudon, which still wouldn't be too big of a deal because there still wouldn't be that much that he could do to my team. Just more of a stalling Pokemon Bear Thorn, especially in this situation. So, uh, so he's gonna leech seed me. I honest, well, maybe he was predicting the Groudon protect, but I don't know. Like it would have been better for him to leech seed Groudon since he would have recovered more HP each turn. But yeah, I'm gonna go for the Safe King Shield just in case he decides to attack. And I go for the Fire Punch. I'm like, oh, I don't. I was expecting low. Is he gonna protect? He's probably gonna protect, stall out, stuff like that. But I just go for the Safe Fire Punch, and we easily take it out. So this one we get a, a clean 4-0 sweep, mainly from he. I mean, his team was interesting. He had Earthquake on the Kangaskhan. He had Landorus and Carney instead of Therian. He brought Ferrothorn instead of Groudon. So pretty interesting match. I personally I, I enjoyed. It. I thought it was pretty cool. Like I've I've said in the past, I like seeing different Pokemon. So props to my opponent. Uh, but that's going to be it for this battle. I'm going to be uploading the other battles I had for this international competition. I came across some really good teams. I had a really good time. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.